Hey guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World here on YouTube. My name is Daniel Rosal. This is my tech YouTube channel. And we're going to be looking today at a very important topic because we're talking about optical media and backup and archiving and restoring and all that good stuff. And the common question is, what can I do about security? So we have this issue with optical media for archive that we're going to, it's going to be physically uh, put somewhere. As an ideal situation, we'd have, you know, physical control, but let's just say we want to be a bit more cautious and we wanted to use security mechanisms. So there are a few options that are available and I'm going to go through a few of them, maybe not all in this video, maybe we'll just do this one here and the next we'll do the encrypted volume. Um, but uh, these are, and there's, there's many ways to skin a cat, as I often say, especially when you're using Linux, because there's so many ways of doing things usually. But these are just a couple of ways in order of increasing complexity, roughly. So we're going to be using the Backup for Content Creators video I did two days ago because it fits onto a, um, a single CD. It's only about 300 megs. Um, and I'm going to be showing a couple of methods. So firstly, uh, this is the, the, what I would call the most simple way. And just before I do this, actually, I want to make an important note about safety here. So there is a school of thought that the it's actually a bit risky to put archives onto CDs. The reason is that if the disk gets corrupted and there's some corruption in the archive, potentially the whole archive could be unreadable. Whereas if there's just corruption on a single uh, file, you've only lost that file, but perhaps the other files are okay. So that is a concern um, really in this methodology. And we're going to see one way of mitigating that a little bit. So firstly, when you go to compress on, uh, on Linux, you're going to have a bunch of options here for different algorithms. Some do support password protection and some don't. From the GUI, ISO doesn't. I'm not saying there isn't any way to password protect an ISO. There probably is. Uh, but from the simple GUI, you can't. But there are loads that can. One of them is 7Z. So I've just selected 7, 7Z. And this is quite a cool little um, compression algorithm because it tends to compress the files quite well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, put it in my test secure CD. And I'm going to, I'm going to put a uh, password here. And you have a couple of options. Now, all this stuff, by the way, only appears when you do other options. So you might need to click on advanced options or something like that. So we have the option to password protect just this and we'll create an archive and that'll be it. And then we can burn that to our, uh, our disk instead of the file. So this is just going to take a few seconds um, and we'll see what kind of file that we get out. It should reduce the file size a little bit. Um, and I'll just pause the video for a sec so we don't have to watch this tedious process. Okay, there we go. So uh, it's finished doing that. And as we can see, the backup for content creators MP4 was squished down from 200 and 300 megs down to 128. So we've actually done quite good compression there into 7Z. And let's see, let's see what happens if I try to open it up. It's going to say you need a password. So now we have password protected that archive. Uh, so this is one form of security, uh, a simple password that we can use. Obviously, in this day of uh, key files and whatnot, is this is quite considered quite simplistic, uh, but it is one way of doing this. Let's look at one more way within this methodology. I'm just going to move that to trash. Let us go for this option again of compressing to 7Z. Let us add a password again, and let us um, this time split up the volume. Now, the reason that I'm doing this is I'm going to go for 20 megabyte increments. And the reason I'm doing this is because what I'm going to create now, we're going to actually uh, divide this up. And the idea is, again, remember we talked about what happens if we have uh, corruption on the disk. And if we put it into multiple files, it might be a little bit easier. Uh, so this is one uh, one option that we're going to do. And this will make the uh, the extraction process um, a little bit more uh, complicated, uh, but it will provide us with uh, a little bit more security in the event that we created the kind of error correction code we saw yesterday. We would have to create that again for this, but here we go. So it didn't take altogether too long. So it's it's split that out into one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, six archives of 20 and one of eight megabytes. How would this work in terms of unpacking this? So the main option here is available. Uh, the extraction option is available on the first file, right? 001. And the other ones are just kind of files, subfiles of it. So you go right click, extract here. Whoops, 
It's going to ask you for your password again, as we hoped. I'm going to do that. And now it's going to be pulling in. So you can see that uh, it's inflating backup for content creators. And now we're back up to uh, 295 megabytes. So we've actually succeeded in unpacking that. So it's actually really not that hard to uh, to inflate it back. We got the password protection. And I'm just going to delete the original file as well. And now all we need to do is write this onto a CD. All right then, so I've gone into K3B and uh, there's really nothing that is very unusual about this process. I'm just going to take my files, all seven of the 7Z files. I'm going to put them onto the CD that I'm going to create. And as we can see, we're actually leaving really a lot of uh, disk on the table. So yes, you could definitely create parity data or ECC data. But just for simplicity, I'm going to simply create this and I'm going to call it a backup um, content creators uh, ENC for encrypted 7Z. That might cut me off in the uh, in the chain. Uh, 128 megabytes, and we're actually doing this. Is this isn't simulated? This is a real burn, burning it on, and um, we should hopefully have no problem getting this disk burned. Okay, so the disk burned without any problem. And what I'm going to do now is just test it out. Uh, this is my live. It's in my new uh, Pioneer drive, which just came today. Very exciting. Uh, test secure CD and I'm just going to paste and we're going to pull this back off the optical onto my local and then we're going to test it to see if all goes well and it is uh, extractable. So this will just take a few seconds. Okay, so we've just finished uh, taking that off the disk and now all I need to do, this is on my desktop, I'm going to click extract here and hey presto, it's asked me for a password which is the first thing that we wanted to see and now we just have to verify that's going to re package the mp4 from all this uh, data and then just make sure that it plays and we're going to be good okay great that took only a second finally i'm going to go into sm player keep it simple and this is the video that uh, i put up on this youtube channel a few days ago everything's playing fine and it looks good and of course if you wanted to use a checksum to verify you could do that so that's it guys hope that was helpful this is method one as i mentioned not the only method um i might post the luke uh encrypted vault thingy um in a second but um this is at least one option that will work thanks for watching if you're interested in receiving more videos about uh, my tech interests including optical media backup and archive do please consider subscribing here on youtube